What's going on, you two? Unforgettable Fire, track two. This is Pride in the Name of Love. Yes, I know the song. Yes, I've played the song. Okay, so, Melody in the Course of Pride in the Name of Love originally came out of a 1983 war tour sound check in Hawaii. The song was originally intended to be about Ronald Reagan's pride in America's military power, but Bono was influenced by Stephen B. Oates' book about Martin Luther King Jr. titled The, Trump the Trumpet Sound, A Life of Martin Luther King Jr. and a Biography of Malcolm X to ponder the different sides of the civil rights campaigns, the violent and the nonviolent. Bono would revise the lyrics to pay tribute to King. Pride went through many changes and re-recordings as captured in a documentary included on the Unforgettable Fire Collection video. Pride is the most conventional song on the album. Tony, Fl That's why I was saying I wonder if Pride in the Name of Love is kind of a mixture of their new kind of sound versus their older, more rock-oriented al albums. I wonder. Jamming Magazine said at the time it was the most commercial U song U2 had written, and it was chosen as the album's first single. Yeah, I mean, huge. All right, let's get to it, right? We know this song. Here we go. Pride in the name of love. Bam. It's awesome. 
Yeah, totally awesome track, right? Fantastic. Fantastic. So the drums are very loose. They're, they're really loose, which I think is great. The guitar, I love when it drops into, what is it, the second verse, and it just like really smooths out. It's awesome. It just feels perfect. Obviously, the vocal performance is fantastic, but I got to say, I think that the, the, the unsung hero here is the bass part. I got to say. I mean, as somebody who's played the song, and I, I would say now not correctly. <laughs> like, if I ever have to play this song again, I'm going to go back and really dig into it because... He's doing more than, again, it's it's not as subtle as the last track because it's a little bit more out there, but it's still pretty subtle. Like, just exactly what he's doing. It's not just... Right? He's doing a, some lead-in notes, right, In, into it, and he's doing some a little bit of... Uh, syncopated parts super subtle really dr helps drive the song and and give it that forward motion I think it's great I think it's great obviously edge right he's doing his newfound thing or I don't know maybe it's not I, I feel like this is like the first album where this is really the new style of his playing I could be wrong because again I, I, I don't know a ton of like U2's music aside from their hits I didn't have their albums just from what I was reading, it just seems like before it was like rock stuff, maybe like kind of, they were saying like post-punk or whatever. But this is more just like a washed out, consistent, just washed out sound. Yeah, classic. Just classic. Very powerful song. Really great song. Really great song. Yeah, smash hit. <laughs> smash hit. Cool. All right, up next is Wire. I'll catch you then. Later.